In this video, I'm going to go over each of our cameras, the basics, uh, like how to turn them on and how to record, um, which is what most amateurs do, is just turn a camera on and press record, point it in a direction, and go from there. But as amateur filmmakers, you're going to have a little bit more control of your images and um, be focusing on, on things like white balance and exposure and focus. So we'll talk about that in this video. The first camera we're going to talk about are our oldest cameras. Um, in the, in the, back in the camera closet, they're labeled camera 7 and 8. They are Sony HDR CX160s. Um, and they do a nice job. As far as turning the camera on, it's very simple. Uh, like the Sony's, because all you have to do is just open the LCD screen and the camera automatically turns on. You'll notice when the camera turns on, um, a couple of things that you see in the upper right hand corner is battery life. That's one thing you always want to check whenever you're checking a camera out. And then also uh, the amount of space left on the SD card. This, this camera happens to not have an SD card in, so that's not popping up right now. Um, as far as recording, super simple. The red button on the right hand side, press that and you'll see that it says no memory card. Um, but when you press the record button, there'll be a little red REC at the top of the screen. That's how you know you're recording. There's nothing worse than getting on set with all of your actors, pressing record or forgetting to press record, um, going through several takes, and then realizing that someone forgot to press record. So you know how to press the record button and how to check to make sure it's recording whenever it's on. Another thing that you'll need to know about this camera is on top, there is a zoom. The zoom button is on top. You just slide it left or right to zoom in or out. Slide it right to zoom in, left to zoom out. Um, something else that's extremely important, like I said before, is being able to adjust white balance and exposure. If you click menu button in the upper left hand corner on this camera, and then the camera and mic, uh, icon, then the first thing that we see right there is white balance. If I click on white balance, um, right now this one is set to auto, which isn't a bad setting. Um, it just automatically assumes that it knows what you want your image to look like. Um, but you can set it for outside um, in, the, in sunlight. And what white balance does is it makes your colors look the way they're supposed to look. So you can toggle between a couple of different settings or this right here is an, a manual white balance. In order to manually white balance, um, you would hold a piece of paper up and then click, click the button, click the white balance button right here on the left hand side and it would set white to be true white. Um, I'm going to set this back to auto for now because that's where we'll leave things as uh, on default. We'll default to auto um, each time. But that's how you adjust white balance or manually set white balance if you're not getting what you want. Next feature I'd like to show you, again, menu, camera and mic. And if we scroll down one tap right here on the side, we get to exposure. What exposure is, is it's how, um, how open or close the iris is on the camera. So if I click on exposure, and right now again, it's set to auto, has everything adjusted to what it thinks you want. Um, if there happens to be bright or dark spots in the room, it, it decides what it thinks that you're trying to focus on, then it adjusts the iris to that, whether it's letting in, to let in more or less light. Um, if we click it over to manual, Say we're filming in front of a window and you want you're, you have people standing in front of a window and the people look dark because the window and everything around the outside of that is, is bright. Um, in order to adjust that, you would switch over to manual white balance and you could click the plus or the minus to lighten or darken your image. One last function that I would like to show you is focus. And if I click on focus right there, it's set to auto. It automatically focuses on what you want it to, what it thinks you want it to focus on. But you can manually set focus, um, and then adjust down here for a closer or further away to focus on something closer or further away. 
And that's how you adjust white balance, exposure, and focus on these cameras here. The next camera I'm gonna show you are number five and six in the back. They're labeled for us number five and six. And they are our Canon Vixa HFM 500s. Um, with these cameras, in order to turn them on, you actually have to press the on off button right here and then the camera will come on. Uh, just like our other one, there will be a spot on your display that will show you how much battery life you have left in the upper right hand corner. It will also tell you um, how much time you have left on your SD card right underneath there. Um, as far as setting uh, white balance and exposure with these cameras, click function in the upper left hand corner and then there is white balance right there and this one happens to have more settings than the last one. You can click through the settings and you can see that it gives you a different, a different look with each one. This little, little button that looks like a tulip is your manual white balance. Again, in order to manually white balance, I would hold up a white sheet in the area that I'm, that I'm filming. Click the button that says set white balance. It'll process and it will set it up to make that true white. If I go back, I'm gonna reset that to auto white balance. And hit X to exit. Um, the next thing I'm gonna show you is exposure. Exposure is right there. Um, it, right now it's set to auto exposure, but if I tap the M, that'll give me manual exposure. And I can either lighten or darken my image by tapping the arrows at the bottom of the screen. I'm gonna go back to auto white balance there and exit out, or exposure, I'm sorry. Last thing, focus, focus is right here. And I can tap manual focus and then tap to focus on further away or closer. And whenever I start tapping, it automatically uh, zooms in to, to give me a, a better look at whatever it is that I'm focusing on. The last thing I wanna show you on this camera is how to um, review something that you've recorded. Uh, if you look on the side right here, there's a little camera to play button. If I press that, then it's going to give me a list of things that I have um, that I have recently recorded. You can tap on those and it'll play those back to show you what you recorded to make sure that you got the shot you're looking for. Whenever you're done, click that same button and it'll switch you back over to camera mode. With these Canon cameras, number five and six, you have to make sure as, you're, as you finish to press the on off button so that the battery won't run out. The next camera that I'm going to show you are our newest um, Handycams. Uh, the Sony uh, HDR CX580 is our newest Handycams. Um, these are great. They have a larger battery for longer battery life. Um, all the cameras work fine, uh, but these are our newest ones. And with this right here, uh, once again, with the Sony's, all you have to do is open the LCD screen and the camera automatically comes on. Um, I'm not going to go over too much on, um, on how to set white balance and exposure. It's very similar to before. Click on camera mic. It's the same as the other Sony's. And then you have white balance. And if you scroll down, you have exposure and focus right there. So we don't need to go into that. Um, there are different screen modes that you can click on that give you different, a different look. If you're interested in that, um, that's something that you can play with as well. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with that for right now. And the last thing I didn't show on the last, the last time I showed the Sony's with the other Sony's is how to, how to play back. But there's a little play button right here. If you click on that play button, it's gonna give you, similar with the, the Canon, it's gonna give you a list of of things that you've recorded, you can click on those and play. Right now it's saying no events because there's no SD card in this camera. 
But in order to get back to camera mode, I can just click that play button and it'll toggle back to camera mode. The last camera that I want to show you is our Sony NX5 camera. Um, I, I didn't mention the cost of the other cameras. The other two cameras, or the other, the other three cameras that I showed you are um, between six and $750. Um, this one right here is actually a $4,000 camera. Um, so it's one that we definitely, we take care of all of our stuff, but we have to be extremely, extremely careful with this. Uh, the first thing that I would like to show you with the NX5 cam is how to turn the camera on. And we turn the camera on right here on the side. If we just press in the little green button and then slide the little lever over to on, the camera comes on. Um, the LCD screen, you can look through the viewfinder, but the L there's an LCD screen on top. You can flip that open. Right now it's black because we have not opened the lens cap. The lens cap is right here on the side of the lens. If you flip that up, Lens cap opens. We always want to leave the lens cap closed whenever the camera's sitting on the shelf or we're not using it to protect the lens. Um, the other cameras have automatic lenses. Whenever you turn them on, they automatically open. The lens cap auto automatically opens. Uh, with this, um, on the side, there are a lot of buttons and dials. Um, some of the important ones that I'll show you if you're going to be using this camera, um, the expectation is that you're not using it in auto mode. You don't have it set to auto, not necessarily auto focus or auto white balance. You're using it for a specific purpose. These are also the cameras that we use as camera one and two. Um, whenever we're doing game, uh, game productions. Uh, with this camera, um, several of the things I would like to show you very quickly, and then I'll have another video that will go into more detail about all of these things, is again, um, focus, white balance, and exposure. Um, on the side right here, you'll see focus. Right now it's on autofocus. If I switch that down to manual, this camera actually has a, a focus ring, and it's this first ring up front that you would use to focus the camera. And you can see as I adjust that ring, as I roll that ring left or right, the image goes in and out of focus. I'm going to flip that back on auto focus for now. The next manual feature that I'd like to show you is white balance and exposure. Um, if I, this little slide right here says auto and manual, if I slide that to the right to where it's on manual, then this smaller ring right here, closer to the camera body, um, as I turn that, as I turn it to the right, actually the image actually gets, you can see the image getting darker. As I turn it to the left, it gets brighter. That opens and closes the iris on the camera, that ring right there. Um, if we go to, if we click on white balance right here, this, little, this button right here while it's on manual, we'll get manual white balance and you can then hold up your white and hold down the little button again that kind of looks like it looks like a kind of a tulip. It's got a couple triangles with a square on top. If I, if I press that down then it's going to change my white balance. It'll blink for a second and then say set. There we go. And I will set that back to auto as well for now. Another feature of this camera is up on top there is a zebra button. If I click on that zebra button, you'll notice on the LCD screen, there are some areas where you have um, black and white lines. That's basically showing you areas um, in your image that are overexposed. And if I am on manual uh, iris, manual exposure, I can adjust, I can adjust my iris and take out some of those overexposed areas. On this camera, in order to see, in order to play back video, 
Um, you would click the visual index button either here or on top where the LCD screen is. But when I click the visual index button, then I have um, the images pop up that I have recorded and I've just recorded and you can click on those to play those back. In order to get back to record mode, just click visual index again and you're back up. The last thing I want to show you on this camera is zoom. There is a button zoom like on the other cameras where you can zoom, zoom in or out, a little rocker button right there. Um, but it also has a zoom ring. So you can use this ring to zoom into or out of an image. That's all I have for our cameras. Um, as always though, these are very expensive pieces of equipment. Um, if you ever have any questions, um, please don't guess. Come ask me or ask somebody in class that might know um, so that our, we can keep our equipment running um, smoothly and working well. Thank you.